This is the five year anniversary of Detroit's bankruptcy when the city hit rock bottom and continues now, fortunately, to bounce back. Some 24,000 retirees who were creditors in the process are still paying the price, however. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner continues our coverage tonight with their part of the story, Jim, and it's been a painful chapter for them. Indeed, Dave, they were out here in big numbers to make sure their voices were heard. They still got hit and they are still feeling it in their retirement years. Hands off the we want them to care, that's all. Five years ago, 23,500 retirees were blindsided by bankruptcy. They worked their city jobs on the promise of a full pension and guaranteed health care coverage in retirement. My wife's going to be taken off the insurance uh, totally. We stayed and stayed proud and true to the city because of the benefits, because of the guarantee. We stayed and stayed proud and true to the city because of the benefits, because of the guarantee. We watched that clip with the Bennetts today. They met when Louie was a rookie cop and stopped Patty for an improper turn. It turned into the love of their lives, now married 43 years. You know, we haven't been on a vacation since I retired. I've been retired 20 years. The city was selling continued health care coverage to replace what was free. But they went on their own because for them, it was cheaper. Patty wasn't Medicare eligible. These are costs I incurred that I never used to have. His monthly expenses are a minimum of 800 bucks, all coming out of his reduced pension. Eats away at you pretty bad. And then, you know, you're just... A, a old grumpy bitter guy and and I don't want to do that. Emergency manager Kevin Orr who drove bankruptcy returned to his law firm Jones Day as a partner which has this online video touting their success in Detroit. I'm happy to say that once we went through that process we got 80 percent plus of the vote to vote for our plan of adjustment. Here's their parting shot. He's a sanctimonious idiot. That's pretty strong. You think? I know he doesn't. Bitter, you bet. You're looking at the top of the Book Cadillac Hotel. That's where Kevin Orr lived while he was in town as emergency manager. Attorneys involved in the case here across the street made millions. But for these retirees, they're going to feel bankruptcy for the rest of their lives in their twilight years. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Yeah.